So now we're coming into the hotel property. Isn't that gorgeous? Ah, uh, wow. Hi, this is our Christmas adventure. We're coming over to West Baden Springs in French Lick, Indiana. And right now we're headed to the West Baden Springs Hotel. It says West Baden Springs, Carlsbad, America. So now we're coming into the hotel property. It's a pretty drive. Oh, there's a little trolley that you can ride. That's pretty cool. That takes you, I think, over to the French Look Hotel and to the casino. Such a beautiful property. And then that's the Bellman's desk. This is the main atrium at the West Baden Springs Hotel. It's just gorgeous. When I first saw this two years ago, I thought, oh my, I don't think there's any other hotel in the world that I've been to that has been this pretty. So we're gonna walk up and see what their tree looks like. This is one of their restaurants that you can come to. It's the tree. It's really pretty. Real pretty blue star on top. There it is. Isn't that gorgeous? Ah, uh, wow. And the size of the tree, I have no idea how tall that would be. Oh, they have afternoon tea here. They have wine pairings on Friday evening here. This is really pretty. Almost like Christmas balls that are hanging inside the fireplace. Wow. Hi, Stan. Hello, hi. Isn't this pretty? It's pretty. We'd awesome. never seen it at Christmas time, had we? And we're gonna walk out of the atrium to where the actual lobby is. Even the flooring is so pretty. Look at that mosaic tile on the floor. This is the registration desk over here. This is where they have the entertainment. It says at West Baden on Wednesdays, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, they have a light jazz and pop pianist on every Friday night. Friday and Saturday is a late night jazz club. Saturday is a harpist and a Sinclair trio on Saturdays. It's the library. So this is like the waiting area where you would wait if you're checking in there's like a chess table set up to play. It's a giant Santa over here. Here's a checker table that's set up to the furniture reminds me too of that Victorian era. Okay, so we're gonna go this way. West Baden Mercantile Company. And here you can buy a postcard of the actual hotel too. Spade and Springs Legacy of Dreams book. That's the one that I bought the last time we were here. That tells the whole complete history. That's cool. And hats. Even the detail to like the lights. Give me a picture of the lights. It's just beautiful, look at that. It says Caldwell and Drake contractors for the hotel used 500 workers to build the hotel in 11 months. Now there's the spa, West Baden. It's down these corridors. This is where you would come back to use the spa. I thought this was like one of the most beautiful spas I had ever been to. Here's like kind of a look of the indoor pool. Nobody's down there right now, looks like. So maybe we can get you down there. Registered guests only. Hours 6 a.m. to 12 a.m. So we can't get in, but this is the pool. Isn't that amazing? And then over on that other side, 
probably can't, I don't know if you can see my finger, but the other side of the pool area was a jacuzzi hot tub. But I know this is kind of like a long lap pool and it was very warm. Like, just look at the artwork on this floor. You can't really tell how glittery it is, but it's just beautiful. Like, even just like look at this lamp. Isn't that amazing? Some reindeer for Christmas. It's on the table and over here on this thing. Oh, and this is where the restaurant is. We ate here in here last time we went. Yeah, it's called Sinclair's. It's a really pretty restaurant. We'll kind of just take a look here and show you. We had breakfast. I think we had breakfast here, didn't we? The night, because we went and ate at the steakhouse at French Look for the dinner. And there's their really pretty little tree that's in here. And isn't it pretty in here? I think this is a beautiful restaurant too. This is, I'm sure, really booming on the weekends. Right now it's just really quiet this evening. Oh, there's where a harpist plays. Ballard's, this yeah. is a bar. Three bottles next. Yeah, we live right downtown. Oh, there's a lounge. Looks like you can play pool. TV room over here, and there's like tables where you can sit and play cards if you want. So we're back at the very beginning. That's where the bellman stand is, but we didn't walk this way. So we'll take you, there's another direction because I think there's another gift shop on this side. Yeah, there's a Mitchell's Jewelry Landmarks Emporium. I remember we went there. That's where I got, um, we paid to do the tour. There's like a historical tour that you can do. Legends Hall of Fame. It shows you some of the people of the Hall of Fame that have golfed here. I don't know any of these people, but if you're a golfer, you probably would know them. This looks like it's all ladies. Trisha Johnson, the Legends Championship. They must have that like every year here. Some of the famous golfers. The Nancy Lopez legacy. This is Oliver Westcott. He was a Chicago-based suspension bridge engineer. He designed the dome and the largest freestanding dome in the world at the time. This talks about the afternoon tea. So this is the West Baden Hotel in West Baden Springs, Indiana. And it is a gorgeous property. Here's the ceiling in here. There's the ceiling. There's the tree. And there's the atrium. And there's Stan. Hi, Stan. Hi, now we've stepped out of one of the doors onto the main porch. The porch runs probably, what, about halfway around the actual building. Over here on your right-hand side, is the gardens. We actually took the history tour and I would really recommend to do that if you come over here. Um, I don't know if it's only in the summertime, but they have this huge porch where people can sit out and rock. And they have like the wicker rockers, they have the big wooden rockers, and it's all the way around the porch where people can just sit and rock and talk. Over here where they can sit and have ice cream the little tables and chairs. And then right here is the driveway that you walk outside. And that's where you drove up before. That's where we drove up to come into the hotel. And there's the symbol, West Baden, WBS, West Baden Springs. And then here's the gardens. Isn't that magnificent? Oh my gosh, look at those lights. So pretty. Okay, so now we're back at West Baden Springs Hotel. So now we're coming in during the daylight so you can actually see the drive in. It's like a brick road. Can I show you? That's why my, probably my video camera was kind of up and down last night when we were coming in. And here's where you first drive in. That's what the actual hotel looks like in the daylight. There's the porch that I was showing you last night where you can sit up in the rocking chairs. It says check-in and valet parking over here. Except you didn't do valet last night, did you? I self-parked. Yeah. Was there a charge for that? No, and it's still close to the entrance here, so. Okay. 
So there's no charge for the parking if you even want to just come over for a day or a night to have dinner. Uh, I didn't see this last night, the angel that's out here holding the flowers. It's pretty. Well, there's two of them, one at each door. This is the beautiful lobby of the West Baden Springs Hotel. It's just an amazing resort, huge dome. Years and years ago, they even had a circus that was held in here, indoors. It's got a lot of history. And it's just incredible. Around the base of the Christmas tree in the atrium, are these prints and it says original photo 1997 and these are photos taken of the eight angels that are up in the angel room at the very top of the atrium you have to take an elevator to the top floor and then climb up a ladder to get on top of the building and then climb down into a little metal walled cylinder room and on the walls of that cylinder someone painted eight angels and these angels watch over the West Baden Springs Hotel. And they don't know who painted them. And they believe they were painted sometime after 1901. And somewhere between around 1918. And they can only date them because of some graffiti that was written on some of the angels. So some interesting history. So up there is what they call the angel room. Xanadu and get some hot chocolate. Xanadu is a nice little coffee shop right on the property of West Baden Springs Hotel. They serve Starbucks and cream. And it's kind of a small deli too. Yes. That's awesome. Thank you. And we're going out to see the garden through the door that's marked Mineral Springs. Because there used to be active Mineral Springs here and there's Santa. And there's a really pretty doorway going out that way from the building, out on the porch and out to the gardens. And they do give carriage rides. What type is he? Pergeron. Pergeron. Wow. So we've come out that side of the hotel and we're going into the garden. It's very pretty at night during Christmas with all the lights and very nice area during the spring and summer. This is one of the buildings that used to house an active mineral spring where people would come and get in the water and supposedly get some healing properties from the water, drinking it and bathing in it. Sounds like Donna is in the spring singing. <laughs> what are you singing? Christmas carols. Turns out a mineral spring is a great place to sing. Yes, the acoustics were amazing. Yeah. There's one of the angels. This one says Billiard and Bowling Pavilion. And we think it's closed. We don't think it's open yeah. to the public. And looking back over the gardens, there's the hotel. There's more angels. There's angels all around, even in the dome. And there's a little walkway over into another park area, an open area. And it goes over a little river. Uh, and there goes a black cat. Well, not all black, maybe. <laughs> okay, so this is the last spring what we're stopping at called the Apollo Spring. We just want to show you what the dome looks like. There's the round porch. Look at all the steps. Oh, it's just gorgeous. It's the bell tower up there. And this is the trolley stop. Here it comes. That's very cool. Look at that. There they go. They're leaving West Baden Springs Hotel for the French Lick Resort. 